welcome to the Frontier Culture Museum. I'm Zach Bell. I'm an interpreter here. I'm Davis Tierney. I'm the Director of Interpretation here at the museum. And we're here at the 1850s house today. So we are in the kitchen of a mid-19th century farm, and we're going to do some music for you today. We're going to do a tune called The Soldier's Joy. This is a very old tune and arguably one of the most popular fiddle tunes in the world, um, especially in North America, Canada, the United States. Earliest publication would have been James Aird's collection of tunes in 1788. It was also a dance in England called The Soldier's Joy, but in mainland Europe they were also playing this tune. Not really sure where it comes from, probably Scotland or England, uh, and early on as a fiddle tune, but the dance was very common all around. So we're going to be doing them on the fiddle, as it is a fiddle tune. But in America, you're going to hear these tunes on other instruments as well to accompany the fiddle, guitars and things like that. But we have one here that David's going to talk about. So what I've got here is a gourd banjo, uh, and the banjo is a really cool instrument because it's one of the instruments that shows the influence that West African cultures have on American folk culture. Uh, the idea of this instrument really is born out of West African instruments like the akonting or the ngoni, which are also things that rely on a piece of skin stretched over some type of wood or gourd frame uh, with a neck and some strings. Now, this idea of building an instrument like this will originally come over with enslaved people to the Caribbean, where we see the banjar pop up, which really starts to look very banjo-esque, that's B-A-N-J-A-R, uh, and that's going to come north into North America, where it will eventually morph into the banjo that we know. By the end of the 18th century, you can start to see uh, images, paintings, and so forth depicting things that are pretty recognizable as what is essentially a banjo. Now this one in particular with uh, this type of head here is something a little bit more akin to uh, the 1850s, a uh, minstrel banjo almost, except that this one is just made with the body as a gourd. The style in which it is played, what you might hear today called frailing or claw hammer playing, that relies on that bum diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, is also a holdover from uh, African tradition. You see people play things like the Nagoni and the Akonting. You'll see them play using that approximate playing style. So uh, here's Soldier's Joint. 